Today on Gardening with Creekside, we are going to show you how we install the curtains on the greenhouse. Stay tuned. Hello friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside. I am Jenny and today we are going to show you the whole process of installing these side curtains for the new greenhouse. We have been here quite a lot here recently because we are pushing through to get this greenhouse done so that we can fill it up full of proven winners annuals to come home with you this spring. We have installed one side of the curtain for the greenhouse so that we can learn from our mistakes. And when we go to the other side to install it, it will be a nice seamless process and it will go a lot smoother than it did on this side. The initial actually just hanging of the curtain went really well. You're just simply, we stretch it out. We're holding it and moving down as Jerry goes through and beats in the track that holds the curtain to the greenhouse. That part was super simple really easy and then um, what we're going to do is show you the rest of the process installing this center post pole that runs the whole length that attaches to the motor installing the motor so forth and so on so let's move to the other side and get started So the deal is that when we hang, hung up the curtain, we had to keep the curtain six inches from the edge of the greenhouse on both sides because that's where the motor is going to sit right here. So we had to cut the curtain six inches from the edge so that the curtain doesn't get wrapped up in the motor. What we're doing now is we have... Oh, a lot of things but and we're on the hill this is the pole that the motor is going to ride on up and down to raise and lower the curtain this will attach at the bottom on the hat base then this bracket will attach up here so we have to pre-drill the holes and then it's bolted in to that track. Jerry had to temporarily remove the clip track 
that holds the curtain and the double plastic on this corner because they both won't fit at the same time. So we're putting this guy on here. Trying to. Because you have to, it's a bolt. Like you can't screw it in because it's really got to be tight. So that's what's going on right now. I have a feeling somebody's going to fall at some point today. Sticking through just a little bit. You ready? Yep. See, it just snaps into place just like that. Okay. Um, pole. Pole right here. That's pretty, pretty level. They don't have the most clear directions on this. So this was a point of contention yesterday that we spent a lot of time on trying to figure this. They're like spacers. Like they're super loose. So what we're gonna do is come down on every bow all the way down the greenhouse I'm going to hold the curtain really tight and we're marking it the half the length of the curtain and so yesterday my mama and I did this for the other side and so from this point to the very bottom right here the curtain is 90 inches long so half a 90 inches is 45 so we're coming through here and marking every, a mark, 45 inches on every boat. That way we know exactly where the pipe is going to hang on the curtain. These are our little guide marks so that the pipe is level. So we're gonna go all the way down. So we have to make a mark one inch in because that's how long the shaft is and then the bolt will go through the pole and the shaft for the motor like that. But when you're drilling the hole you have to make sure that one side is perfectly level with the other side because then you're make sure it's all the way. Which way? Yeah. Because it's stuck. There you go. Yep. 
before we lay the pipe, attach the pipe to the curtain, we have to get the motor even with where the pipe's going to go. So because it goes up and down, it's really loose, so we have to clamp it so it stays right there. We learned this like yesterday. Christine, we decided, we are talking this morning, we're going to, this bed right here, this bank, which is so impossible because it's so steep, so we decided we're going to landscape it so that it'll be gorgeous and pretty. And then where all the lovely red dirt is, we'll just put that in grass. So we can go ahead and put grass, like rye grass on it. So it'll be green in the winter. And then we'll landscape this with shrubs and perennials. How does that look? That looks perfection. If anything, it's a slight high. If anything, it's just a slight high. Because if, if, if I pull on this, yeah, this is high. A little bit more, just a smidge. Oh, okay, right there. Mm -hmm. That was a lot more than. There we go. Well, when I was looking at it, now it looks good. Okay. Is it in? Okay. Okay. So. So what we've got to do is the pipe is in the motor and I'm holding the pipe with the curtain tight where the mark is on the curtain. See the gold marks? Kind of put the pipe in the center of the mark. So you put the pipe in the center of the mark and then we're going to put temporary clamps on the outside to hold the pole the length of the greenhouse. And then don't forget to put a screw in the joint. go inside the greenhouse and take the self-tapping screws and screw to the other side. It's easier to show you than tell you. So what we're going to do is that you can see through the curtain, you can see where the pipe is. We're going to go every 24 inches and put a screw through the fabric into the pole. That's what's going to actually hold the pole to the curtain. Then we'll go outside and take those clamps off. It won't matter that there is a hole in the curtain because all that extra curtain is what wraps up. So those holes will be wrapped up inside the curtain and it's all okay. But this can be tricky to put those screws on because the fabric is slippery and so sometimes it slips and punches holes <laughs> into the curtain which is interesting but it's okay it's all right to the curtain from the inside we can now go take the clamps off of the outside because those were just a temporary hold so those are going to come off then we're going to have to pull the whole curtain and the pipe out of the motor because we still have to put some clamps on the fabric 
to the pipe right here beside the motor. So that in order to do that, you have to pull it away because remember, the corners have that double layer of polyplastic. So that's what we're going to do now. The clamps are already on? Okay. Just a little bit. Don't go crazy. No, you're staying right there. Stay right there, people. No, so what we're doing is there's a clamp right here. So we've got to screw it in. Because we found We found yesterday that the screws weren't holding it and it was the fabric was slipping. Okay. A little bit of slack on it. Here's a screw. You ready? Is it in? Yeah. That was easy. Now we got to put the bolt back or into the pipe through the chuck so that way the pole is bolted to the motor. This is the tricky part. So now we get to see if it works. But when we we found out yesterday is just to kind of help take a little bit of tension off of it. Yeah. Because when it starts to pull, some of those pop right, right through the fabric. Just kind of just just like as far as like like take a little pressure off of it. Okay. If that makes sense. You can go ahead and take that off. I'm kind of holding it. At least I think I am. Yes. Yes, baby, because the water sheds down. Got it. it. Emily, go on the inside and, and poke your hand through here. I got it. Yep. Good job. And that, my friend, is how it's done. I have one big one right here. Ready? This, is, this is the last of the uh, installation. installation and then well, I mean for today. For yeah. like, I mean for, for the for structure. Structure, this is it. Wow. Right here. So 
we're going to do is we're going to go through and on every bow we're going to put these what are they called guard uh, curtain, Wind, guard. curtain guards and so this keeps the curtain and wind from blowing out because they can't go anywhere so they go on every bow all the way down we're not going to put them on the very end because this has wiggle wire track underneath it so it's poked out a little bit and they don't quite fit plus it's not going anywhere because the motor's right there Okay friends, both of the curtains are up and we're pretty much done for the day. The only thing that we will have to do is come back and obviously um, hook the motor up to a regular power source so that it will go up and down. But for now at least, I mean it is still the end of January. We're not going to be raising and lowering these sides anytime soon. So it's okay that they are in that down position and this is not wired. From here, the next thing that we will do Let's just go ahead and come on in here and I'll show you. This lovely big box right here is the heater. So we will need to raise the heater all the way to the roof. Jerry and I had already installed those two tracks and that is what the heater will hang from. Then the gas company will actually come and hook up the actual gas. We just have to hang it and they will hook it up. Then we will have heat. Jerry has already pre-plumbed it and pre-wired it, so we just have to hook that up, get the irrigation lines hooked up, and then we are ready to go ahead and start putting plants in here. We will have annuals on the bottom, hanging baskets, of course, on the top. I think he's gonna come back in here and do a final grade with some gravel to get rid of any holes and possibly put some landscape fabric down for this year. Not sure about that. But he did get this great, he and Jackson worked and got this whole area back here. There is no red mud that we have to drive through or walk through. Along the edges, we will put it in grass or we just let the leaves fall down and let it just be a natural area. But this whole area is nice and graveled and mud free, which is fantastic. Then they went ahead and finished the road that came through here so we can pull out of the greenhouses and come around, swing out, and go back this way so they can truly be a drive-through greenhouse where you don't have to come in and reverse just keep on going all the way around so as always thank you so much for gardening with creekside y'all have a fantastic day we'll see you in the next video bye friends Ha, ha, ha.